A chemical plant is testing the recovery viability of a new raw material. It will be fed at a rate of 6,500 gallons to a 15,000 gallon tank, which will operate at 25 degrees Celsius and 1.1 atmospheres absolute pressure under a nitrogen blanket. The vent on the recovery condenser will be cooled at minus 14 degrees Celsius. The raw material has a molecular weight of 91.97 and its vapor pressure at 25 degrees Celsius and minus 14 degrees Celsius is 0.22 atmospheres and 0.03 atmospheres respectively. The amount of material that will be condensed is most nearly A, 40, B, 50, C, 60, or D, 70. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we'll be talking about vapor pressures. The equilibrium vapor pressure is an indication of a liquid's evaporation rate, and it is defined as the pressure exerted by a vapor in thermodynamic equilibrium with its condensed phases at a given temperature in a closed system. The vapor pressure that a single component in a mixture contributes to the total pressure in the system is called partial pressure. In a mixture of gases, each gas has a partial pressure, which is the hypothetical pressure of that gas if it alone occupied the entire volume of the original mixture at the same temperature. The total pressure of an ideal gas mixture is the sum of the partial pressures of the gases in the mixture. The mole fraction of an individual gas component in an ideal gas mixture can be expressed in terms of the component's partial pressure or the moles of the component. And the mole fraction of a gas component in a gas mixture is equal to the volumetric fraction of that component in a gas mixture. The ideal gas law is the equation of state for an ideal gas given by PV equals NRT, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the amount of substance of the gas in moles, R is the gas constant, and T is the absolute temperature. Whenever you are dealing with air concentrations of components at various temperatures, you can manipulate the ideal gas equation, rearranging it to solve for volume per mole at the tank's current conditions. The tank operates at 25 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 298.15 degrees Kelvin, and the pressure is 1.1 atmospheres. There are several R constants you can use for the equation, and our eventual answer is desired in pounds per day. So it will be beneficial to us to see how much volume our material will take up in a unit that is similar to the units of our final answer. The R constant closest to the units of our final answer is 1.314 atmosphere cubic feet per pound mole Kelvin. Remember that the pounds in a pound mole is equal to a material's molecular weight, similar to it being the amount of grams in a gram mole. So we plug our information into the ideal gas law equation and we calculate that one pound mole of material in the tank will take up 356.15 cubic feet of volume. We will convert our daily material volume of 6,500 gallons to cubic feet, which equals 868 0.92 cubic feet. Then divide this by the volume consumed by one pound mole of material in the tank, and we get 2.44 pound mole of material we are dealing with in the tank. Now that we have the volume of the material in the tank, we can use partial pressures to determine the amount of the material that is evaporating and condensing. First, let's focus on the amount of material that will go to the condenser. At 25 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of the material is 0.22 atmospheres. So we will take a ratio of the vapor pressure and the tank's absolute pressure, then multiply it by the total volume in the tank. And we get about 0.49 pound mole of material that has evaporated into the condenser. Since 0.49 moles of the material has condensed, we have a balance of 1.95 pound mole of material remaining we need to investigate. Now let's focus on the amount of material that will exit in the condenser vent. At minus 14 degrees Celsius, 
the vapor pressure of the material is 0.03 atmospheres. So we will take a ratio of the vapor pressure and the tank's absolute pressure, then multiply it by the remaining volume in the tank, and we get about 0.05 pound molar material that has left the condenser through the vent. The amount remaining in the vent is the difference between the amount entering the condenser, 0.49 pound moles, and the amount exiting the vent, which is 0.05 pound moles. The difference is 0.44 pound moles of material. The material has a molecular weight of 91.97, so we know that that's the number of pounds per pound mole of the material. We multiply the two, and we get about 40 pounds of material that is condensed daily, which is closest to A. Join us for episode 35 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.